Here at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, we run a Crown of Thorns starfish control program. Controlling outbreaks of these coral-eating starfish is a key initiative of the Reef Blueprint for Resilience and the Australian government's Reef 2050 plan. These outbreaks do a huge amount of damage across the Great Barrier Reef. They cause destruction on a scale similar to coral bleaching events and tropical cyclones. But the difference is that we can do something about that damage through our local management actions when it comes to starfish outbreaks. Our program's goal is to protect coral on a network of high value reefs across the marine park. These are the reefs that are most ecologically and economically important to support the health of the ecosystem and the industries it supports. Here's an example from John Brewer Reef, where one of our control vessels, through intensive culling, has been able to bring that reef from severe outbreak down to no outbreak in a matter of months. And in doing so, has protected coral on an important recreational fishing and diving site for the local Townsville community. Here at Pacific Marine Group, we've um, got the contract to control and cull these crown of thorns starfish between Townsville and the Whitsundays. Uh, we've got a team of, a big team, about 20 staff that are involved in this project. Everyone's really proud of what we're, what we're trying to achieve here and, and make a hands-on difference to this, what at the moment is um, a, you know, a really bad outbreak of these crown of thorns starfish. So John Brewer Reef's been identified as our number one priority to get to out of Townsville uh, due to both ecological and economical reasons. We've been we've done seven trips out to John Brewer now over the past four months and uh, in that time we've culled over 20,000 crown of thorn starfishes on the one reef. So at Pacific Marine Group we've got this great vessel Odyssey and we depart to the reef for a 10 day trip at a time. Um, once we get there, we've got a team of 13 divers that are doing four dives every day. Part of what we're doing out there is we're not just culling the crown of thorn starfish, but we're also doing various reef surveys and surveillance, checking out the whole reef and um, recording all that data to then take that back to Grumpa and, and show them what we're, what we're seeing out there. When we first got to John Brewer Reef, it was um, in a critical outbreak of these crown of thorn starfish. On every dive, we were literally seeing hundreds of these crown of thorn starfish. A few months down the track now, we're getting their numbers down to a, a lot more manageable and, and closer to the threshold that we can now leave that reef. So I oversee the diving operation day to day on the boat and um, help keep the divers organised. So when we find a cot, um, what we do is we uh, carry household vinegar, um, just white vinegar with us in a, in a bottle uh, with a cot's control gun that has a little needle at the end of it. Um, and then we inject that sideways into the cots here and put in 20 mils of that and that uh, dissolves the cot pretty much. So within 24 to 48 hours that crown of thorn is no longer on the reef. The John Brewer Reef case study is a great example of science and management in action. Here at the Authority, we'll continue to work with our science partners to deliver practical solutions to help protect the Great Barrier Reef.